BBCJ recognizes Dr. Charity Watson. She holds a PhD in chemistry, natural products, and a Bachelor of Science degree in pure chemistry and food chemistry from the University of the West Indies, Mona. She is currently the manager of the Product Research and Development Division at the Scientific Research Council, Jamaica. Here she is in an interview talking about nutraceuticals. Nutraceuticals are basically food that serve another function besides giving you nutrition. So they're classified as, some will call it functional food. So it has some amount of health benefits in addition to providing you with nutrition. An example of that, which most persons can relate to, is say ginger, for example, which is known to calm stomach ache. Now, it, apart from providing refreshment, it is also having some kind of health impact on the body. So, therefore, it will be classified as a nutraceutical. Of course, there's a huge interest now in cannabis-related products, but I caution everybody where that is concerned. The CLA is an authority that is overseeing everything cannabis-related, and as it is now, we're not quite ready yet. Um, apart from cannabis, there are products such as your Guinean weed. That's another very popular one. And I mentioned Guinean weed because that's one you have to be cautious about as well. Um, People sometimes don't realize that there can be adverse effects by using, from using natural products, you know. Um, one of the most toxic compounds known in the world is isolated from nature, right? Um, that, talk, that product that is used in Botox, it's a naturally derived compound, it's one of the most toxic compounds ever. And persons need to be aware that even though it's a, a compound from a plant or isolated from nature, it, it does have dangers too, so you have to be responsible where that is concerned.